7 plus 3 in the context of chemotherapy is an acronym for a chemotherapy regimen that is most often used today as of 2014 as first line induction therapy to induce remission in acute myelogenous leukemia excluding the acute promyelocytic leukemia form which is better treated with atra and or arsenic trioxide and requires less chemotherapy if requires it at all which is not always the case the name 7+3 comes from the duration of chemotherapy course, which consists of seven days of standard dose cytarabine, and three days of an anthracycline antibiotic or an anthracenidione, most often dornarubicin can be substituted for doxorubicin or idorubicin or mitoxantrone. <laughs> Dosing regimen Topic: Standard dose cytarabine plus dornarubicin (DA or DAC) chemotherapy. Topic: Standard dose cytarabine plus idorubicin (IA or IAC) chemotherapy. Topic. Standard dose cytarabine plus mitoxantrone MA or MAC chemotherapy. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Intensified versions. There were attempts to intensify the 7 plus 3 regimen in order to try to improve its efficacy. Attempts were made to prolong the course cytarabine for 10 days instead of 7, or dornarubicin, idorubicin for 4 to 5 days instead of 3. On the other hand, there were attempts to minimize the toxicity of the regimen by reducing the dose or the duration of the course. But this proved to compromise the efficacy of the regimen. The addition of vinca alkaloids to the 7 plus 3 regimen, which addition was quite popular in AML in old times when the biology of AML and the differences between AML and all was poorly understood proved to be harmful in AML, lowering the chance of the patient to get remission. This is because vinca alkaloids are rapidly deactivated in myeloid cells by their enzyme myeloperoxidase. So the vinca alkaloids do much more damage to the lymphoid cell lines including the T cell lines responsible for antileukemic immunity than to the myeloid cell lines. Moreover, vinca alkaloids in the context of AML cause AML cells to undergo a cell cycle arrest in the phase that renders those cells less sensitive to cytarabine and anthracyclines. Addition of glucocorticoids like prednisolone or methotrexate or alkylating drugs like cyclophosphamide or melphalan to the 7 plus 3 regimen is also of no benefit in AML. The addition of etoposide to the standard 7 plus 3 regimen is sometimes of benefit in poor risk patients, many of which are primary refractory to standard 7 plus 3 induction regimens. It gave rise to the so-called ADI or day equals DA plus etoposide induction regimen in AML. The ADI induction, unlike say combinations of 7 plus 3 with vinca alkaloids or prednisolone, is still sometimes used, especially in poor risk AML patients. The addition of 6-thioguanine gave rise to the DAT regimen, and the addition of 6-mercaptoparine gave rise to the DAM regimen. <laughs> 